Hello everybody, this is String Humor here for a Jurassic World Evolution 2, I'll call it a Mega Park video, because that's what it is. So yeah, I've decided to start work on a um, park and, you know, play Jurassic World Evolution 2 the way it's kind of supposed to be played. You know, in all, my, all the years of playing this game, never really built any parks. So I feel like I've missed a trick and I've like missed out on something, so yeah, we're going to build a Mega Park. We're, gonna, we're using mods, of course, because, well, why wouldn't you use mods? We're here for this, the big, big-ass sauropod exhibit bit. <laughs> I haven't really got an official title for this yet, but, yeah. All based on... Not you. Actually, yes, you. This beast of a mod. The Amphacelius mod. Right, without further ado, let's begin the time-lapse. Right, so first things first, we are we are building. I am currently building the pathway for the amphitheater. I can never get never say that right. Amphitheater, amphitheater, amphitheater. The the <laughs> yeah, it's building paths like this when they're like together. They're very fickle, very fickle. I find, you know, there's always a lot of like ugly seams that you can't really seem to get rid of. Yeah, you can see they kind of messed up that pathway, but they. It's like a little wavy. I don't know how people get it like so accurate. It's impressive, actually, to be honest. Like you, you are very talented. So yeah, I should probably talk about my experience of park building, and I actually have a lot of more experience than people realise. And I don't do many park build well this is the first real park build i've done on the channel at all at all it's like <laughs> crazy isn't it because growing up like i i park building sandbox that was my thing that was my thing you know of roller coaster tycoon 2 being the big factor for that and obviously nowadays it's jurassic world evolution 1 and now it's evolution 2 and of, and uh, well, Minecraft when I play it, I've um, played it for like ages. <laughs> but yeah, it's an interest. It's, it's interesting. I have all this experience of park building, and yet to this day, I've only ever finished one park officially. Crazy, isn't it? It's a, I, I have this thing where I just build. I'll get to a point, and then I'll like not do work on the, on the particular park for a while. And then, when I and, and I'll come back to the game, and I'll be like, "Oh, I want to build a new park," and then I'll just scrap what I've already built. Crazy, it's weird, isn't it? And I've built oh hundred, I've done hundreds of park builds, and yet I've only finished one. But yes, this mega park, I am determined to finish. I am determined to finish this mega park. And yeah, as you can see here, I'm putting the dinosaurs in, and oof. Yeah, this is where I had a couple of complications. One of which, which you'll see in a minute, which you'll see later, is the, um, I forgot what the dinosaurs called, well, Brachiosaurus and the, I'm sorry, I forgot what the other dinosaur is, the, uh, the one that begins with A, the, um, uh, not the, not the Amphicelius one, the, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember, my brain's gone, um, I, I, I genuinely can't remember. Alamosaurus, that's the one. I always forget that one. <laughs> the Alamosaurus and Brachiosaurus proved to be the biggest problem because they needed lots of space to fit in the forests that they require and the um, tall nut that they require. And in fact, I actually had to shrink one of the other enclosures down just to fit it in because they were that much of a pain in the ass. So yeah, as you can see here, I do use invisible fences to fence off to fence off the sauropods and then I put all the like what food they require in like each enclosure and then I put the sauropods in accordingly. So things like the Amphicelius and the Dreadnoughtus are in one enclosure because they require the same food source and Brachiosaurus and Alamosaurus are in the same enclosure because again they require tall nut. So y you get the gist. And yeah I decided to use the forest to like cordon it off so it looked like it was like a Kind of give it like a dense foresty appeal, so it looked like the, the forest would be too dense for the sauropods to like cross, and then I have the invisible fence in the middle. So I think it looked has a really nice touch. And yeah, 
I mixed and matched the forest. So instead of just having like the generic green forest, I think it looked a lot nicer with this orangey autumn, autumn-y themed like forest. Just gives it a bit more character and color, makes it look a lot lusher. And yeah, it's, uh, uh, surrounding the big ass mountain, which I didn't actually do anything with in the end. I just left it as it is. I mean, if you have any ideas on what I could do with the mountain, then I'm all I'm all ears. One thing I'm probably going to change after watching this is the thickness of the path in here. I think I'm going to make the paths a bit wider on this bit. Because I think wide paths, for me, look a bit night, look a lot nicer. This is something I did in Rollercoaster I can do as well. When I, I always just use like one path piece, and then now I just use like a molded like a wider path pieces. built a random connection thing and I have modified the uh, range of some of the power supplier thingies just so I don't have like a tangled mess of spaghetti power lines all over the park because nobody wants that it just looks ugly so yeah the basic enclosure is pretty much finished I didn't do anything too spectacular with it mainly because I didn't have any room Despite how big this area is, and it is big, it's still relatively small. Sauropods are big beasts, they're big buggers, they are. They require, they're very demanding. Big shits. I think that's definitely one thing I'm going to do, is expand the park, and I'll do that off camera. And yeah, I have something else planned as well. Well, I have quite a few ideas rattling in my brain for this park. The next thing on my to-do list is like a micro petting area walkthrough thing so you can have like all like tiny dinosaurs and other various species and i'll have the guests like walk through them and i have an idea on how to cordon off the uh, dinosaurs to make it to give it the illusion that you're actually in the exhibit with them and uh, yeah once i finish this park I do have another park idea in my head that I think is going to be interesting to do. So I'm sure for those of you that know about amusement parks, I'm sure some of you have heard of a park called Class Action, which is a absolute absurd park it's, that has some of the most crazy extreme rides in the world. And yeah, they they have a lot of problems. <laughs> So if you when you go on when you look up online you look at dinghy slides and you see like the one with the vert, with the uh, vertical loop in it yes they have a dinghy slide with a vertical loop in it it's an absolute crazy idea I, I I'm gonna build a park that's kind of inspired by that so look forward for that look forward for that in about five months because probably how long it'll take for me to finish this park <laughs> and then I also have one I also have a dinosaur king theme park to build. I'm sure you all know the episode of Carnival of Chaos. I'm going to build something similar to that. Using all my beautiful mods. And actually, an interesting update with regard to my mods. So recently, I have teamed up with some other dudes that are making Dinosaur King mods. And I have seen some of their work. And it, it actually does look really good. So I'm hoping that by teaming up with them, we can... Split the work, as they, as they say. Split the mods, as they say. So they'll do, like, certain species and then I'll do others. But at the minute, they're focusing on species that are currently in the game. But I, I am rambling off to topic here. And you probably want to know what I'm doing here. I actually got this idea from one of Evo's videos. You know, you know who she is. Everyone knows who she is. <laughs> She's like the pioneer of park building. Even though I was park building, well, before, well, before she was even born, probably. <laughs> but yeah. And no, that's not a challenge. Because I won't win. But yeah, I, I got this idea from one of her videos. She did like an Archelon rock texture. And it looked really, really nice. I thought, oh yeah, gotta do that for a sauropod. Gotta do like a sauropod one. And well, I had a few ideas rattling in my head. So f at first, this was going to be in the, in the actual exhibit. And it's going to have it like standing up right as well but then i ran into the problem of 
the hitboxes of the rocks, even though they're floating, are technically on the floor. The dinosaurs had a very hard time manoeuvring around them and kept getting stuck, so I had to scrap that idea, which is very unfortunate. Then I wanted to do it outside the exhibit, but again, I ran into the same issue, but with the guests. I did have the idea of building it like upright, but a lot small, a lot more scaled down, and have it standing over the outside the amphitheater, which I thought would have looked really nice. But again, for whatever reason, the guests just kept getting stuck and just couldn't walk under it, which is a real shame. And yeah, the unmarked rocks mod, which there is one, that doesn't work because well, I have the mod installed, and it does. In the end, I settled for this. A lying down dead sauropod skeleton rock texture thingy ma bobbidi boobidi. And actually, you know, for my first time doing it, I think it's turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually overall, I'm actually really satisfied with how it turned out. I like the head, I like the neck bones, I mean, the one gripe I would probably have personally is the hips. Didn't really, couldn't really get the uh, lagoon rock, is the one I wanted to use, but I couldn't get it to lie down without it looking sticking out like a sore thumb which is a shame and yeah i put sand and rock around it just to make it look a little bit nicer because you know give it that like earthly fossil appeal so it's, it's like a fossil in the rock and i really really liked it i thought it turned out really well and i definitely have more I ideas in my head of using crazy like buildings and scenery to build stuff build textures and that and yeah this is probably one thing i'm gonna change i always change something even when i finish a project i always change it again <laughs> i'm very fickle with that and i'll probably change the pathway and in fact i did that this morning i did like a section of the pathway so it looks a bit so i extended this the bottom bit to go up to the uh viewing gallery path bit for there I don't know what I'm going to build in here, but, well, I'll think of something. I always do. And if all else fails, I'll just look online for inspiration. So yeah, just adding some uh, lighting. Give it a bit of a nice appeal at night. I had to resort to the uh, Alamosaurus scenery skeleton thingy in the end. <laughs> but hey, better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, so I did decide to do a uh, hedge fence around the path, and I think it looks, I think it looks nice. But only around like the amphitheater and the uh, facilities bit, and then I use these lagoon flag thingies. I don't even know what to call them. Yeah, that actually looks pretty nice. I like that. Just doing some jungly area here, make it a bit more secluded. A bit more secluded. And don't worry, I'll add the uh, orangey colourful forest as well over the boring green one. Um, okay, do you have any suggestions on what I could build? You know, what, what, what would you like to see me attempt to build? I mean, it could be, I could build anything. I, I genuinely can build anything. Mostly, mostly anything. But like I said, I, I have an, I have a few ideas I want to try out first. But yeah, I'm always open to suggestions. Right, is that it? No, I think that is it. Oh, no, 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 I almost forgot. I got to do, I uh, did the uh, flower bit in the middle and I decorate the amenities accordingly. Yeah, when it comes to amenities, if it's like in a specific area, I like to stick to the same style. So yeah, you can see here that I'm uh, putting flower pots around the uh, borders of the amenities, just to make it look a bit more nice. Bloody fly. Sorry, a fly just flew at my window. <laughs> always do it, terrible. So yeah, it looks a lot nicer now, and that is pretty much it. Just to de just decorate the amenities now, accordingly to the uh, style that I like. Went for a uh, gardeny, earthly style. Kind of suits the sauropod theme quite well. 
and that is practically it. So I hope you enjoyed this montage, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're looking forward to more part war and building of epic content stuff, thingy my bobs. <laughs> Until next time, enjoy the little montage at the end, and ta-ta! Oh, that was too easy.